You are now watching Behind the Lyrics of When I'm Pulling by Matt Corman. Matt, nice to meet you. Calvin Johnson. Calvin Johnson. Yeah, BBC Pleasure. Reporting. BBC Reporting? Yep. Uh, local, we're on your local channel, 7 News, if you never yeah. heard of us, and online as well. Very popular on some uh, websites. Yeah, my, my wife, actually, she loves BBC. Tell me what you think. Do you think that I deserve this? So I'll hit it from the back in the morning once you heard it. Yo. Now, when they say, tell me... Do I deserve this? What are you What are you asking if you deserve? Uh, so so what I mean by that is just like, you know, we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll paint the scene for you real quick. Like sure. I'm at like a club or whatever, and I'm a, I'm talking to a a, a female, mm -hmm. a girl, and so I'm asking her mm -hmm. if she thinks I deserve this. Meaning like, does she believe that I have worked hard enough to um. How do you say retrieve her blessings? Shotty on the stage, getting neck, 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 let her twerk it. So, I, so I'm now talking about a, a stripper. So I would have made it. Uh, so okay, so you're done talking to the first girl. Correct. So I moved on. So I met the first girl at the bar, mm -hmm. and then um, I moved on to the stripper. And now I'm saying like, Shotty's on the stage. She's getting naked. Let it twerk it. Take your daddy's keys. Yeah, I'll fuck you in the Lexus. So are you, are you inferring that you're gonna steal her father's car and then fornicate with her in her dad's car? I, I, all I'm saying is, so I'm I'm in an area where I don't have necessarily a place to um how do you say make love mm -hmm. with you so i'm just telling her that she should take her father's keys because her dad is oh you're not gonna take like you're not like walking in the house no, taking no, 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 her no, no, father's no. keys stealing his car <laughs> and then having sex with his daughter in his car uh no i'm gonna i would have well we would potentially well i did say i'd fuck her in the lexus you think did i get you from a job tell me when you heard my name did you want to get a touch yeah. when i walked in and you saw me did you think damn i'd like to take him home and then there's something after about touching tell me when you heard my name did you want to get a touch yeah gotta throw the yeah in there Nancy, I'll fuck you in the bathroom. You tell me what's keeping along with the same theme there, yeah that we've been seeing well i time. heard that she liked it nasty she likes it nasty so she likes to do it in dirty places it's not necessarily i just think that um like she's a spontaneous girl i'm asking her if she would like to um make love in the bathroom oh not because the bathroom is a nasty place to do it no. it's like it's it's nasty. Yeah, yeah. It might have been recently sanitized. She's being a dirty girl. Are you asking for her thoughts? Does she like it? I would just like to know what she thinks. Well, she, okay, you're being a gentleman, being a gentleman. You want to know if she likes it, and if not, you can maybe switch it up. Yeah, exactly. Potentially into the headstand that you guys were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I just want these questions are coming from the fan. Right. I think that um how do I say this? So I mean I'm pulling on her headband. Mm -hmm. I wanna know her thoughts. And um I did say fuck you on the bed and put your body in a headstand. Mm -hmm. Um up right there I'm talking about potential positions we could use. Mm -hmm. I know how the people are always talking like they know who I am. Mm-hmm. If I don't know you from the jump, then maybe you're just a fan. Ah, uh, sorry, I just keep thinking about the headstand. Um, <laughs> oh, sure, me, I do as well. <laughs> so basically what I'm saying there is a lot, so as you come up in the music industry, as I started gaining a following, a lot of people are like, yo, man, like, I've known you since forever, like, trying to, basically, coming out the woodworks, trying to, like, get a piece of what I'm doing in some yeah. sort of way, and like, I can see who's trying to get so in my So people pockets. that, like, kind of weren't there with you yeah. um, when you weren't, very popular. Correct. Are now acting like they're your best friend. Correct. And yeah. Kind of trying to get involved. Yeah. And you're saying, hey, buddy, lately, you're just a fan. Yeah, yeah. Now, before we started this, um, before I was assigned this uh, job, I obviously did my due diligence and, and, oh. and researched you. And I've listened to a couple of your songs. Very good, actually. Appreciate that. Um, now this Alexis character, she's popped up in a few of your, your songs ah, mm -hmm. and in a couple of your lyrics. Um, is this an important girl in your life? So, I, I, you know, the I'd like to kind of keep it professional here. Okay, she work at the club. People all around her want to give us some drugs. Are we once again back at the so strip club? So she back at the so so it turns uh, out. So you're back into the strip yeah, club. Yeah, Alexis's friend 
is a stripper. Who would have thought? Is it is so? Is this the same girl when you say she's working at the club? Yeah. Is this the same girl that was in the club in the beginning of no, your song? No, different girl. So you do you frequent these clubs? Ah, uh, I've I've mixed I've mixed one in before, and then like every now and then I might mix it in again. Okay, it just sounds like you're there a lot. Sure. I mean, everyone enjoys them. Um, I say come. I say like um, she's not used to people giving a fuck, and that's coming up oh, because yeah, like because I give a fuck about her, dude. So, okay, sure. I've been driving through the city with this girl on my side. Okay. But Megan hit me up, she says you ready to ride. See, that's where I want to stop because I tell you, I, I can tell you have got a lot of girls in your life. <laughs> I can tell you have a lot of girls in your life. Right. So driving through the city with a girl on my side, is that girl Alexis? So I'm just, I'm not. Or is it another girl because you're trying to get Alexis on your mind? Put your body in there it is again. Not... Driving through the city. We're driving through uh, the city. With a female on your side. Yeah, yeah so someone's in the Is that Alexis? Seat. So that's not Alexis. It's not Alexis. Then. So are no. you, at this point, you're trying to get over Alexis? Oh, no, I'm just networking. Building. Networking. We're I know these women want my children. I ain't coming inside. Okay. Okay. So that's an important message there. Yeah, yeah. So basically. To practice yeah. safe sex, everyone. Um, Megan hit me up. She said she ready to ride. I did mean sexually. Oh, see, I thought you were driving through the city, I one, but at the, you know, tell me all about you. I want to know more. You, so you're, I want to know. It more. goes back to, so a lot of people might think, wow, he's, what, a, what an ass. He's just rapping about these girls. What and, an asshole. And, and sexual and fornication with these girls. And that's all he cares about. It's not what I care about. I want to know. But about I go back to, I revisit your lines about Alexis and you're addicted to giving her love. And now you're speaking upon, um, wanting to get to know more about her. And that's just, I think that's an important message. For a lot of young people out there that may listen to your music, to be a good guy, you know, it's obviously everyone likes, you know, the sexual orientation of the song, but also just a reminder to be a genuine person, you know, and learn more about them, get to know more about them, you know, it's not all just about the sex. You revisit that line a lot about the headband. No, I just, I, I just, for, I think for the listeners, just yeah. really, I. That pulling on the headband? Sure. Now are you just saying like you're pulling her hair? Or you're not. She has a headband on and you're pulling it. When did that thing fall off? So, I mean, you kind of got to use your imagination there. Which uh, I do. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, think about it, man. Like, I got her in a, I got her in a headstand. We were in the bathroom. I've been in the club. I've had a long, too. long night. Yeah, so. I mean, it's that's been a, pretty, it's been a long night. And, that, and, and that's pretty much, that's the song. That's the song. Right there. I mean, what do you think of it? I listen. I'm not big into the um, the hip hop rap music. I'm more of a classical rock guy. Oh. Um. So this is new to me. Um. But I'll tell you what. It was quite catchy. Mm -hmm. And the lyrics, man, it just really what it boils down to. Um. I think your ultimate message here mm -hmm. in, within the song was that um. You know, you're a good guy. Yeah. Great yeah. guy. You know, just started chasing his dreams, and yeah. all these things came into fruition. Where you know, now that you're seeing fame and glam, um, a lot of people are trying to get involved in your life, and there's a lot of girls distracting you. Mm -hmm. But you're just focused on like you know chasing and finding things that you love, whether it be the rap music that you enjoy making or that one special girl, Alexis. So I think what you're saying ultimately, the message in this song is that you're not getting distracted by all these ulterior motives and outside factors, you're staying focused on the things that you like to do. That was, was that the ultimate message of the song? Pretty much, yeah. And, um, fucking bitches. But you're, yes. Oh, fucking bitches. Please, um, the Fucking bitches. Please with the language. Sir. Taking some bitches home from the strip club. So you're, you are. Fucking bitches. Who are you to go, boy?